Yo guys, what is going on? And welcome back to another video. You guys know what video this is. As I said it yesterday, this is the Cara... Right, how do you pronounce it, right? We're going to get this right. Cara... Caraboya? Caraboa? Whatever the hell it's called. We'll call it the EFL. We'll call it the Carling Cup. We'll call it the Capital One Cup. Basically, it's a cup game. These are my predictions. I was going to release this one yesterday, but unfortunately, we didn't hit the targets. And guys, if you don't hit the targets, I can't do my double uploads. You know this. This video, although, hits 10 likes. I'll double upload today. Well, I'm, plan well, I'm pretty much planning on doing my Let's Talk Middlesbrough versus Scunthorpe anyway. But yeah, let's just smash 10 likes just because it's me. But yeah, 10 likes on this video would be absolutely outstanding. Uh, all my links to my social media will be in the, inside the description. So make sure you go over there and you like everything, I like everything and follow and whatnot. There's an Instagram, a Twitter and a Facebook. Just go over there, drop a like on it. be truly appreciated. Comment down below as well. Whatever you feel like these games are going to end. Heads up, there's 19 games that I've got to go through. 19. So if you guys want to comment, I mean, big up to you, man, because there's a lot of games to go through. There's a lot of typing on phones or laptops or whatever. Whereas I'm just speaking them. I don't have to type them, which I'm pretty lucky about. But yeah, remember, smash like on this video. If you can get to 10 likes, I'll be absolutely buzzing. It would make my night. It would make my night even more so if Butter can get a win tonight. Um, not even, you know, even if we lose, you know, let's stay behind the boys. Um, and I'm seeing that isn't even sold out tonight. And I'm going to explain why this is annoying me a little bit. Uh, in terms of cup matches uh, and league games as well. So, last season, I get that we were playing big teams. Uh, in these cup games, when we were in the championship, we've got Manchester United away, everybody wants to go. Fair enough for Man United. But why? Because I don't understand why, when we play Scunthorpe at home, nobody's interested. If people got the money, people are off work, but people will say, ah, oh, Scunthorpe, I ain't going there. But I'm like, well, if it was Manchester United to go, well, I mean, I know it's a big difference in the teams, but... You know, if your team's playing, surely you'd want to go and watch them. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, if I had the money to go to every single away game, if you like, I'd be there at every single one. But unfortunately, I don't, and sometimes I have to work. But it just annoys me. Like, today I was at work, and people come past me going, oh, don't worry, man, I ain't going there tonight. Are you going there wasting your money? I'm like, what do you mean I'm wasting my money? It's my team. How on earth are you wasting your money if you're going to go watch a team? Um, I don't understand it. Uh, I don't get it, and uh, I feel like I feel like fans should go. You know, if they've got the money, go and support your team. I'm sure there won't, won't, be, won't be many there tonight, which is a shame to see, really. Uh, I think Scunthorpe will bring down a, a, a fair few. I looked on the website early, because obviously I'm buying my tickets on the door tonight. I'm going to go down with my brother pretty early. Um, they're yeah, going to get to the stadium. I like to get there a bit earlier and uh, you know have a little look around, even though I've done it like pretty much all my life. I've looked around the stadium, I know what it's all about. I enjoy, you know, just walking around and seeing the players get off the coaches and whatnot, get out of the cars, especially the butter players. I really do enjoy it. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to tonight's game. Um, so, yeah, I mean, let's just hope for a win. 19 fixtures, as I've said. I didn't mean to rant, by the way, then. I just get a little bit annoyed with with, 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 with fans, really. I mean, it goes for any sort of fan. I mean, you see fans all over the country, all over all over the world who say, you know, I'm not going there because it's so-and-so. Well, I just don't agree with it because I feel like if it's a team and you've got the money and you make out if you love this club and whatnot, you know, you should be there. You should be you should be supporting your team no matter who we're playing. But that's just my opinion. Many of you guys may not agree, but it's just my opinion. Um, so as I've said, this is 19 games tonight of the um, Cup games. Straight after this video, I'll literally be recording. The camera will get turned off. We'll go back on again. As we will, well, as I will be recording my Let's Talk Scumfort versus Middlesbrough game. Which obviously tonight, in about five and a half hours time of, of when I'm recording this video. Um, well, probably but yeah, about five and a half hours, six hours. But yeah, then let's get this under all underway. And there's a lot of fixtures here, so I'm apologise if it's a bit boring. I just try and get through as quick as I can and uh, try and get these games out for you guys. Now, um, I was a bit confused when I read it. It said first round, and then it had a space, and then it's the second round. The first round game being Grimsby versus Derby. No idea to why this is a first round game. I thought everybody in the first round had already played. Is this a, I, that's what I mean, because I don't even know if this is a replay. Like, tonight I'm seeing that we might have to go straight to penalties. I'm not really sure how it's going to work with this whole new with this whole new system coming into play. You guys let me know. I think it's called the ABBA way. Uh, you know, it's an ABBA thing, what the hell they're calling it. You know, it's always to do with all the penalties and whatever else. You guys let me know. Um, will it go straight to penalties tonight's game? I'm not 100% sure because of this new system that's come in. Um, but yeah, anyway, it says first round. So that's why I'm a bit confused to why I didn't go to penalties. Can you still get replays? Even with this new law that's coming into football. Um, but anyway, first round game. Uh, Grimsby versus Derby is what's happening tonight. As well as all the other fixtures. And I've gone for a Derby 3-1 win. Yeah, I'm sure Derby want to get through the first round. 
Uh, unless, they're, unless they're seeking promotion and want to concentrate on the league, uh, fair enough if they get beat, but uh, I don't see Derby going out in the first round. I mean, it would be pretty humiliating for them, I think, if they did. Um, you know, and I think, you know, they want to get through just to try and stay, you know, just try and, you know, I don't know, just confidence and whatnot for the team. Run out for the run out for the players that don't normally play. I mean, these why these early rounds come into play, I think, because it's the lads that don't really get to play, get to have the game. Um, but yeah, I think that'd just be a bit of a morale boost for them to go through the first round, you know, do a job at Grimsby and then go into the next round. Um, but yeah, Grimsby, um, not a bad team. Let's be honest. I mean, I mean, I mean, they're not exactly up there either. Um, I've actually got my sister's fiance from Grimsby, so I, I had to try and watch out for their results. But uh, yeah, I mean, that was a little fun fact. I mean, get to know a little bit more about me in this video, eh? But uh, yeah, Grimsby. I don't see him winning this one. Grimsby fans, I'm sorry. Sisters, fiance, sorry. But yeah, 3 1 derby. Now we're going to get into the um, round twos. Um, and there's a couple of the Premier League teams in this one. Should I say, yeah, well, yeah, only a couple, not loads. Um, the first one being Palace versus Ipswich Town. Crystal Palace, who haven't really been on the greatest of forms at the minute. I don't think they've won a game all season. So I think this cup game is perfect for them to try and get their first win um, and try and get their morale back in the changing room. Uh, so I've gone for them to beat Ipswich 2-0. Purely because, based on the fact that they haven't won a game yet, they're going to want to try and get a victory at some point. So I think this game is perfect for them to try and really push the ball out a little bit and try and get a win. Just for their morale, for their confidence, especially for the fans, you know, to have a bit more confidence this season. And I think this will really spur their season on if they can get a win tonight and then they kick on from there. Then we have Villa versus Wigan Athletic. That's Aston Villa, I guess people don't know who Villa is. Villa versus, Aston Villa versus Wigan Athletic. Um, Wigan uh, obviously got relegated from uh, Championship last season. And then, you know, I was really, do you know what I was really gutted actually when they got relegated? Like, a brother got relegated. But I was like, flipping heck, man. Like, Wigan have been relegated. I genuinely enjoy going to Wigan away. Don't know what it is. I, I couldn't tell you what it is. Um, but something about Wigan away, I proper love it. I've been there twice. Um, both type of, obviously when Borough in the same league as them. I think we lost one. Sibieski scored that late on. And we won one. Jeremy Ali Ali Earth, that's how you pronounce his name. He scored the winner. But yeah, Wigan went down. I was devastated actually. I proper, proper gutted actually. For about a day or two, I was proper gutted because Wigan had gone down because I just love going to the stadium so much. Um, and obviously it's an away day that I really do enjoy. Again, I can't tell you what it is about the journey. I just really enjoy Wigan away. But Wigan have gone down. They play Aston Villa tonight, and Aston Villa haven't been on the greatest of form either. She was John Terry, uh, you know, wishes that he stayed at Chelsea because uh, to sit on the bench and win every week is better than playing and losing every week, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I've gone for them, Aston Villa to win 3 1 tonight. Again, for the same reason as Palace, they're not won many games this season. Even though it's only just started, they've had a bit of a rocky rocky start to it. I'm sure they're going to want to get up, I'm sure they want to find the feet tonight against an opposition from a different league. And all these teams up from these lower leagues are going to bring a lot of fight tonight. I mean, that's what that's one thing that one thing that Middlesbrough fans have got to remember. Palace fans, we're talking like um, who else is playing? Like Bert Brighton, they play with, they play at home to Barnet. All these sort of teams are going to come here and fight because you know you want to think about the money in this cup for them. Every round, you know what I mean? They're going to get money from it, and it can do a lot for these little clubs. And not only that, you know, the fans back in, they're going to bring thousands down as fans, no matter what night they match are playing on. I mean, because you got to think, I mean, you're, you're a Wigan Athletic fan, you know, you're going to a, a almost like an ex-Premier League stadium. Um, you're a Barnett fan, you're now going to watch a Premier League team. You know, if you're if you're one of the fans, you know what I mean, you're going to get excited because that's where you're going. You're going to these big, you're going to these big stadiums, these big names, if you like, from obviously with you playing in the lower league. So these are fans are going to be really pumped up for this. These teams are going to be really, really up for this game. But Wigan 3-1, I mean, Aston Villa 3-1. I just, I think Wigan, yeah, they're going to fight, but I think Villa have just got enough quality to beat them. And um, I don't get me wrong, I think it might be a bit close first half, and many of these games may be. But uh, no, I think Villa, I think Villa will take it away from them. Um, then we have Accrington Stanley, who are they exactly? Uh, they play uh, home to West Brom at Chalbion. 2-1 West Brom. I uh, put 2-1 because I think, again, I'm, t I'm telling you, man, Teams are going to fight. Teams are really, really going to fight tonight. Accurate and Stanley, I believe, they both scored a goal. We've played them in the cup before, and they were really good, to be fair. They were all right. I mean, I think I think we beat them 1-0 or 2-0. I don't 100% remember what the score was, but I'm sure it was 1-0 or 2-0. But, uh, no, listen, I mean, the cup, I mean, when they play, they really play with a lot of fight, and I've already explained. Get through tonight. and I mean, even though it's a couple of thousand, it's still a lot of money for these lower league teams. They're going to want to win. But I think West Brom, again, with the quality of the manager and whatnot, I think they will pull through. The next one's the one that confused me a little bit because it even has it on their website that they're playing tonight, but they've got no opponent. I mean, like, I mean, like legit. I mean, if you go on Barnsley's website now, but it said Barnsley like, versus TBC. 
So I'm like, well, why has that been put on the fixture list if they're not playing an opponent? Like, the team can't turn up and stand on the pitch because they have no one to play. So I did some research. I went onto their club website and it genuinely says, like, it even has a countdown. It says the next game tonight is against TBC. Now, obviously, that's to be confirmed. They haven't even got an opponent for tonight. I don't know if they're supposed to be playing Grimsby or Derby, but they play tonight. So I don't know what's going on there. I don't know if it's an error on Barnsley's system, but Sky Sports have got it down as well. So I'm not 100% sure to what has happened there. If any Barnsley fans are out there or any like football fans that know if this is just an error or whatever, let me know. I was going to give a prediction on this, of course, but I can't give one because it says TBC. The website's got it as a TBC game, but they give a countdown and uh, Sky Sports have got it down as TBC. But they're supposed to be playing tonight. So if you guys know what's happened there, let me know in the comments. Is this kind of baffled me a little bit? Maybe it is, it is just an error. I didn't understand why Sky Sports have got it down if it is an error. And Barnsley, the own club website, have got it. Um, so, yeah, if you guys know what's going on, let me know in the comments about that game. Birmingham Bournemouth was the next game to take place. Birmingham at home. I see this one ended a draw. When I looked at the when I looked at the fixture, I thought, will Bournemouth play the strongest team? Um, maybe not. Maybe rest some players. And uh, Birmingham, um, you know, Harry Redknapp, does he like these cup competitions? Maybe he does. Uh, and does he want to get Birmingham, you know, as much, you know, as far as he can, and try and have a solid season? Well, that may be the case, but teams are going to want to win. Nobody wants to go on the, nobody wants to go on the second round, or as Bournemouth's case, this is like pretty, pretty much their first round of this uh, cup. And um, so I've gone for a two-two just because I see both teams pushing and uh, equaling each other out. But there will be goals, and I just think it's be on as even in this one. And uh, yeah, two-two for me. Brighton v Barnett was obviously my next one. Now, even though Barnett will probably take down a big following to Brighton, um, they're not being too far from each other, really, a couple of hours away. Um, I don't see Barnett put, like, scoring any, to be quite honest with you. I've gone for Brighton to win 3-0. I think, you know, Brighton's class, obviously, obviously with the class last season, showing into the Premier League this season, um, you know, and they are a Premier League team, you know what I mean? They've got that next to the name. I just think the quality in their team is a lot better than Barnett. It's no disrespect to anyone I mentioned in this, by the way. I just don't see Barnett uh, scoring. Don't get me wrong, they're going to come here, they're going to go to Brighton with a game plan, but I don't think they're going to get the result, unfortunately. So I'm going to go for a Brighton 3 0 win. Cardiff City, <coughs> excuse me, versus Burton Albion was the next one. Now, Cardiff have started off the season really, really well. Um, I mean, I, I mean, outstanding. I mean, they've took me by surprise. Um, and Burton, I said, I mean, they beat Birmingham the other night, um, and it was a good game, actually, it was a really good watch. And when they played us, they came with a game, they came with a game plan, but unfortunately, they couldn't execute it. I don't think they'll be able to do it at Cardiff. I think with the role that Cardiff are on at the minute, their momentum in their changing room and on the pitch, everything else, the cat and the fans' confidence and whatnot, that's going to pull them through. And they're going to win this game 3 1 for me. And I just think Cardiff, purely, I think if Cardiff would have maybe had a bit bad start to the season, this could have ended a different result. But for me, Cardiff, um, this season especially, I mean, they're looking like a different team. So yeah, for me, Cardiff 3 1 is what I think it will end. Um, Carlisle versus uh, Scumderland was next one. Um, Again, Carlisle, I really want to back him. I really want to say Carlisle win. Carlisle win, but again, I think Sunderland. Uh, in this sort of a matchup, you know, when you when, when, when you only have to look at both sets of players, Carlisle, uh, Carlisle, Carlisle, should I say, aren't really on the same wavelength of any team in the championship. Uh, you know, and even though Sunderland may not be the best of teams, um, yeah, um, I do think they might have enough to beat Carlisle. Um, I think I learned two one. But, um, yeah, for me, yeah, that's what they'll end. I mean, it could go either way, if you want to put it that way, if Borough fans, you know. Uh, but if Sunderland do go through, I hope we get them in the next round, because uh, obviously we will slap them. But, yeah, I mean, if they go through tonight, look forward to playing Borough in the next round and getting absolutely hammered. The next one was Doncaster v Hull. Um, again, Hull, uh, too much class on the pitch for me tonight. And I've been to Doncaster, and the stadium, to me, I was a bit disappointed with it. And it was a waste of money, because <laughs> we ended it nil-nil. But, yeah, just, that was just a little story, by the way. I also got a match of the day that night, or football at five, whatever it's called. But, yeah, Hull to win 3-1 in this one. I think there will be goals. I mean, there's no doubt that. I mean, most of these games are predicted have got goals in because this is the cup, and everyone scores a goal in the cup near enough. This is a perfect betting. Again, this is not a paid advertisement, but for betting, both teams to score is an absolute banker. I mean, you, I mean your bet's bound to go up. But don't quote me on that. So if you lose your bet, don't be tweeting me your little losing bet and blaming me for it. I'm just saying. But yeah, that's not a paid advertisement. Kids under 18 don't bet. Um, even though you can't, but yeah, you know what I mean. But yeah, Hull to win 3-1. Uh, no problems in that one for Hull. Um, and hopefully David Myler can get a goal. David Myler, if you don't know him on YouTube, go check out his channel. Quite funny, actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, Fulham versus Bristol Rovers. 
was obviously the next one. Um, a follow up for me, uh, I do feel like they're going to have a solid season. I really am, like, I'm really am fond of the way they're playing last couple of seasons. I don't think they'll have any problems tonight. 3 0 to Fulham. Oh, sorry, I keep the camera. 3 0 to Fulham. Um, and again, I've been at home, home advantages, and uh, I just don't see them having a problem tonight. Um, yeah, so 3 0 to Fulham. Leeds v Newport. Now, Newport, again, I don't know a lot of, but, um, you know, it's the same. You know, they're going to bring down a lot of fans. They're going to bring down they're going to bring down a good attendance with themselves and, I should say, good, I should say, a good crowd. And every single team from there is going to have a game plan, and that will be to attack the team and get the win. Leeds, again, too much class in their team for Newport. 2-0 win for them. Um, and then it's obviously the Mighty Butter versus Scunthorpe United. Now, I've said if we get beat, let's not worry because obviously we've got the league to concentrate on. And obviously, obviously as Steve Gibson said, you know, we want to smash the league. Um, for me, Borough to win 3-1 in this one. There shouldn't really be a problem going to this game, no matter who he plays. Um, the people, I mean, the players on the bench are good enough. There shouldn't really be an issue. 3-1 Middlesbrough. Come on, I mean, there shouldn't be. A, if we get beat tonight, I'll be surprised because there shouldn't be an issue. Unless he's told the players to not bother trying, which I don't think he will. Um, you know, probably just go out there and enjoy themselves as a cup game for the players that haven't played yet. A um, bit of a fitness game for them, I suppose. Hope it's an entertaining game. Hope it's like watching a training game. But uh, yeah, 3 1. Should be no problem for the butter. Um, I'm going to be there. Also, if you guys see me, you know, just like you did on Saturday. Oh, yeah, for them um, against uh, Burton. Did I say sorry? Got that wrong. So you did against Burton. Remember, give me a shout and uh, I'll always talk to you. Um, try and give you a score break. So have a bit of crack in the uh, concourse for the game. Next one is MK Dons versus Swansea. MK Dons, remember they beat Manchester United in a cup uh, a few years back. And that got me thinking in this game, to be fair, that MK Dons may score some goals. They're playing Swansea. Swansea just sold Sigurdsson for £45 million. Um, I'm not going to get into that. Obviously, it's not, it's not for this sort of video. Uh, but I've gone for a Swansea 3-2 win. But I do feel they can go either way. Um, Swansea away from home in the cup. Who knows? But they're a team that, when I looked at it, I wouldn't back them, if I'm honest. I'd probably back MK Dons. I don't know what's telling me to not favour Swansea tonight, but something's telling me that Swansea may not win. Um, I've just got a bad feeling on Swansea tonight. So for me, it could go either way. So 3 2 to either team. Um, next one's Norwich versus, Nor Norwich versus Charlton. Uh, 2 1 Norwich. Home advantages, um, and I don't really see them having much of a problem. QPR Brentford, off the, obviously that London derby as well tonight, um, with them both being teams from London, obviously. 2-2, um, again, I think, you know, it's going to be, that one will, that will probably be an entertaining game, with both being London teams, almost like a derby. Um, and I think both teams aren't going to want to lose to either, um, so, to, obviously to each other, um, equally each other out, 2-2 I reckon it will finish. Next one is one that I'm looking forward to the most, but obviously I am at the bottom match, so I have to keep my eye on this one. Sheffield United versus Leicester. Sheffield United at home this season have proved that they aren't afraid to take the teams and they're very, very attacking. Leicester, you know, there's, there's Leicester, Jamie Vardy says it enough for me, Riyad Mahrez. If them lads play tonight, I think uh, Sheffield United will have a big, big problem on their hands and they may come out of a defeat. I go for 4-2, I expect plenty of goals in this one. I think Leicester will run away with it later on and uh, obviously get the victory. Watford versus Bristol City was the next one. Where Watford to win 2-1. Bristol City would obviously have a game plan again. And we'll go there with a lot of energy and whatnot. But I think Watford have got in there. just got enough to get over the line. Bolton and Chef Wed. Uh, another game I'm looking forward to seeing. But obviously I'm at the bottom match to keep my eye on it. Uh, we're going for a 2-2 in this one. Um, I, don't, I don't see either team coming out of the victory. But I do feel like they've both had good starts to the season. And for that reason um, being, I feel like they're going to equal each other out again. And it's uh, going to be a 2-2 draw. My last one is uh, Reading versus Millwall. I've gone for a 3 1 Reading. Uh, Millwall, I feel like they won't do very well this season. And in the Cup, I feel like their main priority will be just be concentrating on the league and trying to stay up this season. So if I was them, if you went out of the Cup again, not a bad thing, concentrate on the league. Like any team that goes out tonight, you know, if you're in the Championship, you can go out tonight, don't panic. Um, obviously, nobody likes losing the Cup. But you got to think what you've got on the other hand where you have got the league. You, 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 know, you know, all the distractions from the, obviously from the next round have gone. And you know what I mean? Then concentrate on the league. But that has been my Carling Cup, F A F L Cup, the been Carabao Cup predictions. If you guys want to comment down below, all your predictions as well. I mean, I, I mean, I would love to see it. But yeah, I will comment back to whatever you predicted. Uh, let's see a butter win tonight. If you guys are going, let me know in the comments. And if I see you, I say I'll try and say hello to you. Try and have a bit of crack and that. You know, talk about the butter before the game. I hope you guys have enjoyed this 
video if you can smash 10 likes in this video that would be absolutely amazing subscribe if you are new since we are three subscribers away from 200 and me that is mad gained nearly a, well gained 101 subscribers in less than a month which is crazy um yeah share this video if you want to share it do whatever the hell you want to do with it get your friends to subscribe do it we'll do whatever you want to do just like subscribe and comment and i'll see you guys well in a couple of hours when i record the next video see you tonight up the butter